In today's video, we made clusters and I made them so fast that we went ahead and gave you some ideas on how to use them. So stay tuned for our next installment of the August assembly line junk journal embellishment ideas. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome back to another assembly line junk journal embellishment making video. We are making embellishments for our August assembly line junk journal. Our next element that I'm going to work on is clusters. So I have taken my two inch uh, scallop punch uh, paper shapers, okay, um, and I have cut them cut scallops out of cork sticker paper so you see that it's um it's a little bit chunky there but it is sticker and so we're going to build our clusters right on top of these this time and so um so i have those the other thing we're going to be using is we are going to use this <laughs> coffee dyed dryer sheet yes coffee dyed dryer sheet we're gonna go ahead and cut out nine because we're doing the assembly line so we're gonna cut out nine little thumb shape things little kind of like squares or rectangles they could be circles they can be bigger and I'm using the scrap pieces that I had left from the envelopes. Okay, so this is, again, I coffee dyed the dryer sheets. I put them, and so watch that video. That was the envelope video for the assembly line. So there's four, there's at least eight. Well, I punched out bingo markers, so these are the punched out bingo markers. So I have those, I have my washi tape, lace, tickets. So when I cut those out, these were some of the scraps that I have left. And so I'm gonna save those and they'll be right over here for me to remember to use. And I have these, these are from punching out the bingo markers. This is a bingo game that I got at Dollar General and I use all of the pieces. So, um, and then up at the top, I have these that I've put into my stash up here, and I made sure that I had at least nine, so I'll be able to use those for something as well. Okay, so again, for my uh, August challenge, I have chosen, I'm going to make the three single signatures, so I'm instead of just making the eight embellishments that are required, I'll be making the nine. And um, this time I am gonna make them all the same. Okay, so, um, so here we go. So again, let's start with our coffee dyed dryer sheet and our butterfly washi tape. So we're gonna go ahead and we need nine of these where we put the, the little washi tape butterfly on top of the dryer sheet. Okay, so just on the dryer sheet. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do each step and have it finished and that way you're not picking things up, putting them down, picking the things up. Because sometimes we make things very similar and we waste, basically waste time because we're putting the glue down, picking it up, putting the stapler down, picking it up, putting the washi tape down, picking it up. So just by doing this, um, could even already have these already cut off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, um, I guess I, I should show you that I did already 
come up with my design. So um, let me show you how. What I usually do is I usually come up with my design first. I did it while the other um, video was taking forever to upload. So I'll pull out whatever it is I'm going to work with. And then I'll just start playing with it. So say like this. And I'm like, oh, I can just go ahead and put my washi tape right on my dryer sheet. Oh, I like that. I like that texture and the softness that it adds kind of coming off the edge of the edge of the, um, the thing. So we do have some of these. So I might want to add one of those. Um, oh, and of course, I, you know, me and the tickets. I, I love the tickets. And what that'll do is that will, um, that'll make the two, the, make the cork stand out a little more. And then maybe some of the Dollar Tree lace. Okay. And then if I find a, a way that I like, I like those elements together. How am I going to get them on here? Um, I think we'll go ahead and let's see. We'll move these up a little bit. So that's what I do. I just kind of sit here and play with it. Remember, I like to collage with all my pieces touching. So, like there. And remember, we're on sticker paper. So if I can just go ahead and staple it. There. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and just peel your sticker off, pull it off of your staple. Now you know that I usually do at least two staples. And I'm going to go ahead and also staple it down here. Okay. And that gives it some interest. There you go. That gives it some interest. I really like it. So this is the one that I made as my prototype. Like I said, it was while I was waiting for the other video to upload. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep doing that. And we'll go ahead and fast forward. Okay, so you saw a couple things happen there. Um, one is I totally forgot to put this one on here and this one on here. And then another one is not connected on the top, this one. So we're going to go ahead and add glue. And, and of course, you can still add glue to to your other ones. Um, okay, so these feel really, actually feel really good. So I'm not gonna worry about them. But that, that is my um, 
clusters. Now, some of the things you're gonna be able to do with clusters, you're gonna be able to add them to your pages, add them to, you know, quickly add them to a tag or something. Well, I have, I have three of these. So what I like to do with these is flip them up and that gives me a pocket on the back. Okay, so again, assembly line. I'm going to make three of these. And this is going to give me a floating pocket with journaling space, okay? Okay, now this journal, I am coffee dyeing, so I am gonna go ahead and I will distress it. I know you're shocked. And those of you that have go, what do you mean you're shocked? I don't usually distress, but these three, um, I'm using up coffee dyed stuff that I had hanging around. So. So I'm just going to lightly just get rid of the stark white on these. Okay. So there's those. And then we can just go ahead and... be able to put these tags in those pockets so we want them to dry and so what we can do here is go up with this you know I don't like to waste things you guys so we're gonna go up with that we're gonna bring it down and We'll go ahead and use these ones. Okay, so you can just pull your sticker off. If you think you need to um, glue it down, then go ahead and glue it down. I'm going to glue where the, the strings are. Okay. And I'm going to go up over the hole. And that is because I want this to stick out of the pocket. Okay, um, I am gonna add a little bit of glue here. Okay, so we've, we've got this for our tag and this hanging down. And that way we're not cutting off and throwing anything away. We coffee dyed these on the Holy Grill. Okay, and then, you know, you can go ahead and add little dangle, um, you know, can add little dangles on those if you wanted to also. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll go through those real quick. If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving hi and say hello to midnight. Hi, Midnight! I'm so glad you're here. If you're brand new and you this is your first premiere, come on over and say hi in the chat so that we can welcome you. We had several new or long time returning um, lovelies that came to the 
premiere yesterday. We had MKY Red, Rebecca, Josephine, Gretchen, Brenda, Debbie, Kat, and Melissa. And I want to welcome you and thank you for coming to one of our videos. Thank you for coming over and participating in this chat. And I hope that you're planning to join us or already have joined us in this challenge. Um, no matter what, join us in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. And um, there is a free digital kit waiting for you in there. It is from our beginner junk journal series that we did March through July. And um, I did make a cereal box journal using that free digital kit. And it's available in the file section for you there. We use the Premier format here at Dear Julie Julie. And that means that this is a pre-recorded video, but I'm probably over there in the chat and we can go ahead and answer your questions. And of course, we'd love to welcome you. If you're asking a question, make sure that you put it in capital letters so that it stands out and I can see it. Now, let's get back to our program. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to add some of the washi tape and it looks like we have four butterflies so i'm going to add four butterflies of washi tape right up here at the top okay again here we go we are assembly line just adding washi tape at the top of these three and this was to give you an idea of something that you can do with a cluster okay so that gives me one of those for each of my journals another thing that you can do with a cluster is if you let's see if we have one two three one two three we'll go with this one it's kind of bright actually let's go with this one two three okay so these are going to get folded Okay, so that we're going to go ahead and put together a page here. And we want this to go up at least up to here. Okay, that gives me my fold. So this is going to give me a pocket for each of the journals. So that gives me a pocket like that and we can just go ahead I'm going to turn all these over so I have the back side of them flatten them out as best I can we can just go ahead and put this right on to the page okay Now we can come in and add fabric under it if we want to, or we can just leave it like this. This is a back side of a page. And there we go. So you can just add your cluster to a page. And you see, even with the staples, I'm able to just undo it, pull them off carefully and put it on. If you think you need to um, glue it down, go ahead and glue it down. So that gives me another cluster um, idea and I'll save the other one because 
I might need it for the cover or for a page. So, um, so there you go. So there's one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then we have our other three little clusters. And you know what? We have, we have these. What if we just go ahead and make a third one and get it done? Okay. We'll save this glue. Come over. Grab that. Okay. Grab that. Put that on there. Okay. So if we go ahead and can have this come off the top. Or we could go in here. Yeah, let's do this. Look at this. We're going to go ahead and go in here. And we'll have decorated one of these pockets. And it's much easier to do this before it's all glued together. And that way those won't be flying around my desk here the whole time. We have found them a place to be. This might even get to live like in there and so we made clusters that are able to go onto a page we went ahead and decorated a tag with the cluster and they are all almost identical and I think they're really really a lot of fun so do you have you already made your clusters and do you like clusters? This time, your clusters have to be separate. You can't use them as your decoration for one of your other elements. It needs to be, needs to be separate. And you need to have at least eight clusters. And um, again, assembly line. So how are you liking this assembly line? Is it, is it going fast for you? And... Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Tell it that you want all notifications so that you know when a new video comes up or a live video is coming. And I hope you enjoyed this and I am sure glad you're here. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.